The amazing benefits of Zone 2 Running in the context of Zone 2 running, it actually refers to exercising at an intensity where your heart rate is within a specific range. The range is usually around 60-70% to 70 of your maximum heart rate. The goal of this training is actually how to improve aerobic endurance and build a strong aerobic base. But this is not all the benefit. In this video, I will be telling you 7 things that will happen to your body if you do Zone 2 running. And how you can perform Zone 2 running step by step. So watch the video till the end, it will be very interesting. 1. Aerobic Base Building This training focuses on improving your aerobic endurance by strengthening your cardiovascular system. The purpose of the cardiovascular system is to provide adequate circulation of blood through the body. This helps the body become more efficient at utilizing oxygen, enhancing overall endurance. So if you are finding a way to improve your heart rate, this is perfect for you. 2. Fat Burning Many forms of physical activity can support weight reduction or healthy weight management. Though some might believe that Zone 2 training is superior in reducing body fat compared to higher intensity workouts, studies don't necessarily support that belief. Training in Zone 2 encourages the body to use fat as a primary source of energy. 3. Reduced risk of overtraining. Zone 2 training is generally lower in intensity compared to higher heart rate zones. This lower intensity can help prevent overtraining, reduce the risk of injury, and allow for more frequent training sessions. 4. Improved recovery. Zone 2 exercise enhances our body's ability to produce energy over time. The main energy production sites within cells are the mitochondria they multiply when the energy needs of a cell increase. Healthier mitochondria mean a healthier and better performing body. Think of your mitochondria like a muscle that can be trained. When you're trying to build muscle, you continuously stimulate them with high quality effort. If you use too much weight or perform too many reps, you may get injured or be too fatigued to train the next day. Zone 2 trains your mitochondrial system to more effectively serve your body just like your muscles, over time actually increasing the number of mitochondria you have and their efficiency. 5. Enhanced Endurance Building a strong aerobic base through Zone 2 running contributes to improved overall endurance. This can be beneficial for various sports and activities that require sustained effort over an extended period. 6. Heart Health Air cardiovascular adaptations are among the top benefits of Zone 2 training for runners. Because this type of training takes place squarely in the aerobic zone, Zone 2 cardio strengthens the heart and lungs. As the heart gets stronger, stroke volume increases, which means that the heart is able to pump more blood and thus oxygen out to the body every time it beats. This can effectively reduce heart rate because the heart becomes more efficient. Capillary density increases, allowing for better perfusion of working muscles. 7. Training Zone Awareness Zone 2 training encourages individuals to be mindful of their heart rate zones and tailor their workouts accordingly. This awareness can lead to more effective and targeted training, and can be very effective. To perform Zone 2, running a series of steps has to be taken. Firstly, you have to determine your maximum heart rate, and a common method of doing this is by subtracting your age from 220 to estimate your maximum heart rate. An example is on the screen of someone who's of the age 30. Next, calculate your zone 2 range. To do this, find 60 to 70% of your maximum heart rate to determine your zone 2 heart rate range. Using the example above, the zone 2 range would be approximately 114 to 133 beats per minute. Next, wear a heart rate monitor during your run to continuously monitor your heart rate. Many fitness trackers and sports watches come equipped with heart rate monitoring capabilities. Begin your run at the lower end of your zone 2 heart rate range. This might involve starting at a comfortable pace and gradually increasing intensity if necessary. Stay consistent in this and listen to your body in case you get tired. Make sure not not to overstress your body because doing zone 2 running gets tiring. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to not miss out on other interesting content from Fitness Label. There are other videos in our channel, click the left or right video and enjoy.